The mission of Riley Children's Health Pediatric Urology is to offer world-class care to patients where they need it. There are very few programs that have had lasting pediatric urologists for such a long time. Our highly skilled team is able to care for the most complex pediatric urologic conditions, including spina bifida, both in adults and children, um, posterior urethral valves, bladder extrophy, epispadias complex, and even more rare conditions. At Riley Children's Health, I believe our robotic uh, surgical program uh, does stand out from other institutions surely because of our volume. We do anywhere from 50 to 100 cases every year using the robot, and I believe that we've also continued pushing the envelope to use this robotic technology just to do more complicated operations, to reduce our length of stay, done in a way that children don't need secondary procedures, and finally, we've done it in a way that I think is improves cosmetics, making scars look better. We are very proud of our uh, nationally acclaimed uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia program. Uh, patients travel both nationally and internationally to seek care under our care. The other clinic which I'm, we are very proud of is the clinic called as Congenital Anomalies of Kidney and Urinary Tract. And the other clinic we have is clinic for uh, prenatal complex urological counseling. And this is done with uh, our high-risk obstetricians, neonatologists, social worker, any other services that are necessary at that time, be it a urology or a nephrology. It's a multidisciplinary meeting. We meet, uh, get to meet the family and the parents, and we come up with a comprehensive plan the use of sacral neuromodulation at Riley Children's Health is a standout within our division and our entire program because we are one of the few centers throughout the country that offers it. We have a specialized clinic that only sees these patients who have failed all other forms of therapy at Riley Children's Health, which we would consider refractory voiding dysfunction patients. This modality provides us a whole new way to treat them, where it's providing a constant, stable signal to the bladder in a more normal way, which allows a child's bladder to work in a normal way. So I think this has offered an incredible new way of treatment for patients who are suffering from some of the worst conditions that we deal with. What we found over the past 30 years is that yes, we can do all these surgeries for children. Yes, we can make them dry, we can get them to school, we can have them adapt, but as they then reach their teenage years and beyond, they find a hurdle, and that is that in the past, at least, there was no one specifically they would go to in the adult arena. We now have that. And the question is, really, how do they do in the future? Not only in terms of complications or issues regarding the physical health of these children, but also their psychological health. And so at present, we're highly focused on patient-based outcomes. A lot of the genital urinary reconstruction surgery that we do for children is done for reasons like increased independence and improved quality of life. And these are difficult concepts to measure. We try to fix that. So for example, we develop the Qualys questionnaires, which have been validated to accurately measure quality of life in adults and children with spina bifida. Currently, we're working on uh, validating similar questionnaires for children with bladder and bowel dysfunction. And in the future, we plan to integrate mobile technology, mobile phones, tablets, et cetera, more into the way we take care of things. That way we can track things prospectively, we can track them in real time. And there's a couple of very exciting studies we have in mind when it comes to randomized controlled trials on, uh, on smartphones, et cetera, to allow us to work with kids in real time, to help target their goals, to personalize care, to make sure that we deliver the best care possible. Not only have I had the privilege of working at Riley Children's Health for the past 35 years, but I have immense support so that we can actually leverage what we've created here and use it for populations outside the United States that are less fortunate. And there, teach, uh, teach locals uh, how to do exactly what we've created here. There's this incredible cross-pollination between local surgeons and ourselves 
so that future innovations in surgery are more likely to occur, and they have on multiple occasions. And I think the final true advantage of this is that those that we train here at Riley Children's Health, we get to go and see some of the most difficult cases in the world and then bring that back to Riley with our know-how. In the future, we look forward to expanding our programs, to continuing our quest to find the best and the brightest, to come to Riley, to work with us and be part of our team. With our long history and our excellent patient outcomes, we look forward to what the future has in store and the innovations that we'll make in the coming years. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.